One. Two. Hello and welcome to SLC Nerds 31 Screens. My name is Erin Dobbins and it is my great pleasure to chat to you today about a film based on a book, which could go a lot of different ways, I know. But in this case, it goes splendidly. That film is Coraline, and it's based on the book by Neil Gaiman. This 2009 release stars a young Dakota Fanning's voice, Coraline, Coraline Jones, as a spunky, bored child who cannot entertain herself. Every parent's worst nightmare. Terry Hatcher plays an ineffective, angry pincushion. We made a deal Zip it! I consider this one of the few children's horror films, mostly because Coraline's parents say no throughout the entirety of the movie. I don't have time for you right now. Let me work. I'm really, really busy. Don't even think about going out, Coraline Jones! Good on that. Consistent parenting is key. Want to make sure your discipline sticks? Stop sending your children to their room. Start sending them to other mother. She'll get the job done. Have a seat, won't you? Poor other dad is an out of work jazz musician. Want to hear my new song? Just trying to turn a buck so he can buy a cup of joe. Give the man a break. This piano plays me. Ugh. Making up a song about Coraline. I don't want either of my fathers writing songs about me, or serenading me in a garden. That might be the creepiest part of this film, if I'm being honest, which I am. No horror film is complete without tea leaf readings and family pets taxidermied. And this movie delivers on both. What do you see? I see a very peculiar head. I see a giraffe. This is a good lesson in why you shouldn't give your child needlessly unique names. I heard an ordinary name like Caroline can lead people to have ordinary expectations about a person. Your child or your children if you have multiple. I wonder if they would each have their own other mother or if they would all share the same other mother, though. That's an interesting thought. None of these magical plants could survive my home or my patio. But I would take pointers from other mother uh, just to see if maybe she could help me with these succulents I have here. Uh, let me guess, you're from Texas or Utah, someplace dried out and barren, right? This is a very interesting cast of characters. And my personal favorite of any spooky children's animated film. You scared me to death, you mangy thing! There are some genuinely creepy things in this movie. We touched on dad serenading in the garden. That's obviously uncomfortable. Uh, but also, there's a doll that follows Coraline around and it looks like her and is dressed like her. Huh. A little me? That's weird. I would recommend watching this movie. 10 out of 10 screams. Watch it with your kids. Give them a little scare. Ah. Uh. Thanks for tuning in to SLC Nerds 31 Screams. My name is Erin Dobbins, and we will catch you next time.